The red carpet has been rolled out. The fans are holding their breath. And the cameramen are looking for the perfect shot. The Beijing International Film Festival kicked off Wednesday night at China's National Center for the Performing Arts in the heart of Beijing. Apart from the grand setting for the opening night, some of the heavyweights in the film industry have been invited, including French actor Jean Reno, Mexican director Alfonso Cuaron, Chinese director Zhang Yimou, and a slew of Chinese movie stars like Jiang Ziyi and Fan Bingbing. Hong Kong director John Wu heads the jury. In line with China's drive to be more frugal, this year's festival opened with a film screening rather than a major gala performance. However, it's plain that organizers are making every effort to impress. The festival screens hundreds of films from more than 80 countries and regions. Fifteen have entered the final round of competition for the Tiantan Awards. The festival also includes forums, exhibitions and carnivals. The film market at the festival is also a highlight. It's the top film trade fair in Asia. The annual trade volume is the world's second biggest, only next to the can. Last year, over $1.42 billion worth of deals were signed. Organizers say they're expecting even better results in both trade volume and film project quality this year. And they hope homemade movies can do well. So the number is upbeat and the expectation is high, but exactly how well are Chinese actors and movies known outside China? Let's check in Los Angeles, the home of Hollywood. Um, I've seen some, this teenager uh, says movies? he's watched some Jackie Chan yeah, movies but it. cannot recall and their names. I think the actor or actresses that I know the most are the ones from the mainstream U.S., which would be like uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon stars, uh, the two female stars, Michelle Yeoh and Zayn. Zane, I can't remember the rest of her name, but I know she's a beautiful, younger actor. Um, I know those two. Now to Rome. I've seen many Chinese films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and The House of Flying Daggers. They present the Oriental culture in a fantasy way with lots of stands and kung fu. And Moscow. Of course, Jackie Chan, and if I'm not mistaken, Jet Li is Chinese too. So I like movies with Jet Li, especially Red 2. I remember some uh, Asian movies, but uh, I'm not sure that they are Chinese. But of course, I know Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Uh, but what about Chinese directors? I have no idea, sorry. Nairobi, Kenya. Chinese movies are very interesting because of the actions, the way they act. They, they make somebody feel good, yeah. Me look like karate, how they do the, the magic to beat people like Bruce Lee. If even they cut him, he can't hear because he's using the karate styles. They're quite far away from China. But how about those living next door in Asia? I love the action films starring Bruce Lee. Jack Chan's Drunken Fist is also cool, and so is Jet Li. When we were kids, Korean guys dream of knowing Kung Fu and having a strong body like them. I've watched The Battle of the Red Cliff. The battle scene in that movie was very spectacular. So now we've got Kung Fu, Karate, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Bruce Lee. Well, Bruce Lee is actually a Chinese-American, so it seems only a handful of Chinese actors and movies travel well outside the country. 
and there have been some very serious efforts in recent years to change this. In February, a Chinese thriller won the Golden Bear for Best Picture at the Berlin Film Festival, and the leading actor Liao Fan got the prize for Best Actor. And of course, this Beijing Film Festival is another attempt to draw attention to China-made movies. And yet still, it seems many, many more efforts are needed to make Chinese movies go global. Xie Ge, CNC World, Beijing. This is CNC World, a new perspective.